Hi, science gurus. Uh, this is Dr. White. I'm sorry I couldn't be here today, but I wanted to take you through uh, how to look at your data using Logger Pro. So if you go to the day 2.1 page and scroll to the bottom, you'll see um, the box that's called Logger Pro Download. Um, you need Logger Pro on your computers before you can do this activity. So um, if you don't have it, pause the video and download it now. Okay, so once you open up Logger Pro, okay, um, you'll see uh, this screen right here. On the left, you've got the table, and kind of the main page here, you've got the, on in the front, you have the, the graph. Um, I put some data uh, in here, okay, this is the data that I took from the uh, density lab experiment. So X is going to be mass. Okay, remember if you want to change X and give it a name or a label, double click. That'll take you to the options menu and you can uh, type in uh, what the dimension is. So mass and then uh, I'm going to put grams here. Uh, short name is mass, that's fine. When you hit done, and you can see that you've got the, uh, the mass label here. Same thing here with Y. Actually, oops, sorry, messed up. Let's do, I'm going to make this volume. Volume, and then that's going to be in milliliters or centimeters cubed, your choice. Okay, on the Y, I'm going to put mass. So I'm going to click, I'm going to click on uh, the label, and then I'm going to type in mass. And uh, grams. Okay. Then I'm just going to put mass. Good. So now I've got labels, and you see how the labels actually translate to the graph, right? So on the y axis, I've got mass and grams, and on the x axis, I've got volume. Okay. So you'll notice that my data points are already plotted for me. You can see them kind of right here. Okay. There should be five of them. Okay. And then um, the next thing I want you to do is when you have your graph and it looks like it's linear, I want you to do a linear line of best fit. And that's this button right up here. If you hold your cursor over it, it'll say linear fit on top there. If you click that, it's going to make a line and give you that um, line of best fit. Now, um, what I really like you to do on your graphs, when you're going to, especially if you're going to paste them into lab reports, um, if you right click, or actually double click on the uh, box with all the uh, parameters for the uh, linear equation uh, and click appearance and then take that to 28 and then hit OK. Make that nice and big so I can see it uh, on your lab reports. Uh, that's great. Um, so this will give us the, this is the linear equation. It'll give you uh, the slope, which is represented by this number here. And then it'll give us the y-intercept, which is uh, represented by this number here. I want to do one more thing, and you probably haven't seen this before, but I'd like to add some error bars to actually um, show what the uncertainties are for the measurements. So what I'm going to do is, if you double-click on the label, let's, let's double-click on the volume label here, and go to Options, and then error bar calculations, this uh, on the bottom right hand corner here. And I want you to put in the plus or minus that you had from your experiment. Now, you were using the uh, graduated cylinder, the large graduated cylinder, which had a division of one milliliter. So that means that the error bars for the uh, volume measurement are going to be 0.5, right? 0.5 centimeters cubed. And if you click done, you can see that the error bar comes in uh, right there, okay? Now, um, if you want to put in error bars for the mass, you can do that as well, right? The mass is going to be a little bit smaller, right? Because remember, when we take the mass, uh, we're using the triple beam balance, and the smallest division is 0.1. So if you divide that in half, then your smallest division is going to be 0.05, okay? And if we put that in, It should go in. It's probably really tiny. All right. All right. 
if you zoom in, right, you can see it right there. Um, okay, so um, definitely just by looking at this, you can actually uh, see that your your uncertainty or your volume is actually um, actually hold on, let's go here. Point each one each smallest division is point one, so it's yeah, that's correct. Okay, so now you've got a graph that's got the error bars uh, inside of it that will tell you, uh, give some indication as to what your uncertainty is.